GXT 1000 series Midland radios, the extra talk. Model number GXT 1000 PK FCC ID MMA GXT 1050 P. It can use four AA batteries, one of them fits up into this hole and it has a battery pack, the rechargeable. This knob fits up into that hole and then gets pushed in. The label says to put it in first so you don't forget. Nice clip and then we have the belt clip which comes from the top down and it is spring loaded. To get it off there's a little tab here you pull it towards yourself and then you're going to push up and it comes off. Okay turning it on and controlling the volume is through here. We have the push to talk key. The keys on the front face, the speaker and the microphone and then the mic and earplug and also a charging port. The bottom is a charging port if you have this type of charger. It fits in there and you charge it up. Of course turning it off first. Alright so let's talk about what all the keys do. The press to talk button if you press and hold that's when you transmit. Press and hold and talk. When you're done talking, release. It will also, if you just press it, it'll exit you out of any menus. It'll exit out of the weather channel. And if you press tight twice, it'll exit you out of the SOS mode. Now, going across the top, we have a menu button. If you press it, you enter menu mode. You see the channel is blinking. You can go channels up and down. Okay. We'll stay here. And hit it again. You go to the next part. So off. CTCS codes. Or DCS codes. The digital squelch. The digital squelch has a 1 through... 104 choices. You can see I've set it to 1 because it timed out. So we press menu, don't have to hold it. And the CTCS has 1 through 38. So we'll press it again and the Vox is flashing. Voice activation. Beep is button beep. You'll notice as I'm pressing buttons, they're not beeping each time. I've turned that off. If I turn it on, it beeps. Uh, Roger beep is on right now. I like to turn those off unless you absolutely need it. I'll go ahead and turn that off. Call. There are, on this radio, there's 10 calls. And on the 1050 model, which is the camouflage one, there's five extra calls, which are animal sounds. Okay, let's get back in the menu, get caught up to where we were. Beep, Roger beep, calls. VB, vibrate is on right now. I'm going to turn that off, and you'll see that flashing will go away. Now I have WI. This is whisper mode, so if you want to talk really quietly through the headset, it'll pick up your volume, your voice. So right now it's off. This is dual receive. You see it says TXRX. That's how you know. Oop. Dual watch. So that was the last one. And we'll get back into what those do. So let's say I'm in the menu and I want to get out. I've done my setting. I can just 
wait, or I can press and release the push to talk. Okay, here we have the lock button. Okay, so call and lock. If I hit call, it'll make whatever sound I have programmed in. And this, some radios you hear it on both ends, this one you don't. If the vibrate is on, when I send the call, mine will vibrate. And any radio that has the vibrate feature, their radio will vibrate. Otherwise, they'll hear the sound. I want to lock the keypad, so I press and hold. And you can see the lock came up. So pressing menu, nothing happens. The only things that work are the volume and off and the push to talk. I'm going to press and hold that again to take the lock off. Now the WX, if I press and hold the menu key for about five seconds, and it goes to the strongest signal, but I can also go up and down through the channels. Skip four and five because it's not receiving anything. If I'm done, I can just press the push to talk. Otherwise, I can keep pressing the weather button until it goes off. Okay, so monitor and scan. Monitor opens all the squelches. Uh, the CTCS, the DCS, and any squelch settings in here. Oh, I need to hold that down. Okay. So that's why you hear the static, because there's no squelching done at all. It allows you to pick up real distant signals, see who else might be on the channel that's too far away to be picked up. You may, if you got your CTCS or your digital squelch, that will cut that out so you can see who's talking on other channels. Okay, if I just press it, it will scan. Now this has the normal 22, and then there's special ones set up already with channels and the squelch, squelch codes up to 50. So I hit the scan again, it goes back to the last one I transmitted on. Okay, then of course we have the up and down keys and we have this SOS and I'm going to cover this. This does not transmit, it only sends out a signal. So you press it for five seconds. Volume doesn't do anything, it's all one sound. When you're done, press twice and it'll turn it off. All right, uh, so if you're just here and let's say it's dark, you want to see the backlight, just press one of the up or down buttons and the light will come on for a few seconds. And that looks like it for the buttons. So let's talk about the settings one more time. Go in the menu. Okay, so the first one, when the channel number blinks, it allows me to set the channels. Okay, I press again. Now, some radios have group mode. This one does not. Midland said that they're going to reinstate the group mode. So I'm not going to talk about that. So here, so CTCS for that. The Vox which is, oh, the Vox. Let me go back to that. Ah. Wish you could go forward and backwards in the menu. Slow down. Has, you see right here, a one through nine sensitivity level. Or off. The beep. 
Roger beep, which makes a tone after you release the push to talk button when you've been transmitting. Beep is also called silent mode. So we'll turn that off because it's annoying. The calls, which is radio wide, not per channel, the vibrate. Let me turn that back on. Uh, the whisper mode, which is an on or off. And then the dual watch. So what you do here is you turn it on, which you're going to a channel. You're telling it the channel you want to also listen to. So we'll listen to channel five. Then we have to do the CTCS or the DCS. We're not going to do either of those. And you can see the radio is working properly now. It is switching in between the two channels. Okay. We're done doing that. So we press that or transmit on one of the channels and then it continues. So let's turn that off. Okay. Uh oh, forgot how to turn that off. Sometimes that's a way to rescue things. There we go. Turn it off all, all the way off and back on again. Okay, now you'll notice that the power setting hasn't come on because I am in an FRS only low power station or channel. So let me go to a higher power channel. You see medium there. So now when I go through the menu, the second after CTCS, I see the power. Okay. My power can be low, medium, high. I like this radio because it shows you all three of those. So you don't have to guess. Low is 0.5 watts. Medium is 1.5 watts. And high is 2.8 watts. ERP meaning out of the antenna. Turn that back to medium. All right, now I'm going to go to a channel that I have. There is a bug in the radio. I want to show you that. Channel 11, CTCS. Let's turn that off. Okay, so everything's good. It shows being off. If I go to another channel, let's go back to it still off. Now watch this. If I turn the radio off and back on, it comes back. So here's the way to clear that out, but it resets the entire radio. So any settings you had will go back to default. This is the only button that doesn't show a second function. So that's going to be our second function. We'll turn the radio off, press and hold, Turn the radio back on, and you see it's channel one now, and everything's on high. So let's go to channel 11, see what it looks like. And there you go. But everything's reset. You heard all the beeps and all of that. So hopefully Midland will work that bug out eventually. All right, so charging the radio, you can charge through the port or in a cradle. You can use the four batteries, a spring loaded clip, push up to get it off. And got power levels, 0.5 watts, 1.5 watt, which is still FRS level, and then 2.8 watts, 
which is GMRS power level. So this is a GMRS handheld portable radio.